Max Holloway versus Ilya Tapura needs to happen since both have called each other out and Max Holloway is ranked number two in the featherweight division. Who do I actually win this fight? Well, before we talk about who would win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Max Holloway fought the Korean Zombie in which both got rocked in round one. Yeah. Oh, a big rock for Zombie. And now he's got Max Holloway on the retreat. Oh, he's hot. Max Holloway then dropped the Korean Zombie in round two. I thought one of the things that would really give... Oh! And then knocked him out in round three. The Korean zombie now, oh, man. Oh. That does we all know he then wanted to fight Justin Gaethje at UFC 300 for the BMF title, in which both went back and forth. Very close fight until Max Holloway dropped Justin Gaethje in round three. And then Justin Gaethje dropped Max Holloway in round four. Max Holloway then dropped Justin Gaethje once again. And in the last 10 seconds, they met in the center. And that's when Max Holloway knocked out Justin Gaethje in round five. Now let's take a look at Ilya Tapoya's latest performances. And when she fought Josh Emmett, in which Ilya Tapoya dropped Josh Emmett in round two. Oh. Both then land some great shots and kicks until Ilya Tapoya dropped Josh Emmett once again in round four. And, and obviously Ilya Tapoya ended up taking it by decision. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Ilya! At this, we all know he just recently fought Alexander Volkanovsky, in which both land some great shots and kicks in round one until Ilya Tapoya knocked out Alexander Volkanovsky in round two. Now, first of all, let's clear some things up. Well, on Air Hawani's podcast, Ilya Tapoya said a couple things that stood out to me. And the first thing that he said was the fact that he'll only fight Max Holloway if the BMF title's on the line. Otherwise, he won't fight Max Holloway and instead he'll fight Alexander Volkanovsky for a second time, which I understand why he would want to do this because it will make the fight much more tense as there will be two titles on the line. But I don't agree with this. I think the fight between him and Max Holloway should just be for the featherweight title to find out who's the best in the featherweight division. Now, when talking about how the fight's gonna go, I do believe that Ilya Tapuria will knock out Max Holloway, and the first reason is simple, and that is because Max Holloway had three fights to beat Alexander Volkanovsky, in which he failed. Meanwhile, only took Ilya Tapuria two rounds to knock out Alexander Volkanovsky. But not only that, but stylistically, I do believe that Ilya Tapuria gives Max Holloway problems, since on Air Hawani's podcast, again, he did say that he could punch, wrestle, or go to the ground, in which he's not afraid to do either. So Ilya Tapuria is capable of doing anything he wants, and he has the confidence and the ability to do so, and I believe what he says because he did exactly what he said he was going to do against the best in the featherweight division alexander volkanovsky so my prediction is that ilito will be the first person to put the lights out of max holloway